hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about the laravel model and the migrations so guys we are going to create one model so that is nothing but your eloquent model in laravel and the migration is nothing but our database tables so guys now let's get started so let's move to our editor and let's open our terminal and now so first we are going to create the migration table okay so there is a command for that php artisan make colon migration where the table name so create underscore your table name so we will create one employee table employees so it will not be a singular make sure you are making plural employees we have to give underscore table so now hit enter created migration so let's check that inside our database migration you can see that employee table employees over here so our table is created guys and now let us create the column fields into our migration i mean employee table let me close this so let's add that dollar table where i want the name so name will be in string so string is nothing but the var char so let's add that name so employee name then again we will add this will be the string and we will add email and we want phone number so we'll keep integer okay so this will be phone and this one designation so we will keep this as string designation and one final we will keep the status that will be tiny tiny integer tiny integer and i want this to be by default it should select zero okay done so let's save guys and we need to migrate this into a database so let's migrate that first you need to check your database if connection is set or not so let me just show you let's go to our dot env file over here you need to give your database connection so my database name laravel for begin let's go over here database is created guys already and now the there is no table inside this database perfect so now let us migrate that table which we have created called employees so let's migrate this so let's go to our terminal okay so let's migrate this php artisan migrate hit enter so migration created successful okay so guys these are the default tables given by the laravel so don't worry about this just ignore these things our table was employee which is created now successfully let's go back let's click on the structure and see that laravel for begin inside the database we have got the employees table so let's see the column fields and let's see this id as auto incremented or not you can see that it is set to primary key and it's auto incremented so now let's get back over here and yes guys so let's create a eloquent model for this table so to access all the data from this table or insert the data edit update the data for this you need to create one model simple model so guys now let's close this env file arrange let's give the command php artisan make colon model the model name will be employee okay so hit enter model created successfully so let's click on app you can see that models folder is given and inside this model employee.php file is there okay so let's open this so here is the employee.php guys and now you need to call that table okay so let's define the table let's give use protected dollar table is equal to inside single quotes you need to call the table name so as you have given inside your database migration 
employee table you can see this employees so let's copy this table name and paste over here if you don't find that if you're getting confused you can go to your database and copy the table name from this so let's copy this employees and paste here and the fields so let's call that protected dollar fillable is equal to inside array you are going to call all the fields which you are required to insert update delete things so let's copy this name give comma and then email comma phone and this designation also so after designation we are going to give that status let's copy this and this is created at updated at it's given by the laravel itself so by default so just ignore this guys it will automatically insert the date and time things so let's get back save so guys now it is has it has been set so let's close this so guys this is how we create our migration and migrate that table into a database and create the model for it so guys there is one shortcut method to create this model and the migration table together okay so for that i'll just tell you over here so php artisan artisan make colon model where for example we'll create demo with the minus symbol m okay so m means we, which will create the migration table also let's hit enter so you can see that model created and this table also created which is the model demo and the table also is called as demos so it is creating plural thing it's not singular so let's add that s also now let us just check that let me just show you that here is the model demo.php and here is the table demo.php so guys this was one shortcut method to create the model and the migration at once so if you want to create the controller also you just need to give model m c r okay so guys in this video that's it we have learned about the model and migrations in laravel so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share